Well, uh, good afternoon, guys. And uh, obviously, a disappointing loss that we had against uh, the Bengals last week, but uh, looking forward to rebounding against Arizona. I know we're uh, going against a really good opponent. They're very sound on uh, special teams, and we got a, our uh, challenge in front of us. But uh, I think our guys are going to respond well going in this week. Uh, as opposed to last week, I thought we did some uh, good things. Uh, there's some things we've got to improve on, uh, build on some consistency moving forward. And at the end of the day, we've got to find a way to go ahead and help our team win the football game. And um, I think our guys are ready and are ready for that challenge for this week. Go ahead and open it up. What's, what's it like for a coordinator as you send Joseph out for a huge kick like that, knowing at that point it's kind of out of your hands? Yeah, you know, I mean, that's what the preparation all comes down to. And I think they had a really good uh, weeks of preparation, even though we had a short time with them. I mean, those guys are professional athletes, and they do a great job preparing. And uh, they understand the craft. And uh, it's up to them. And that's why they're here. I mean, they're the best in the business. Uh, and it was exciting for uh, them and our football team to go ahead and see and make that kick and uh, build confidence as we move forward. Ryan, but uh, oh, oh, go ahead. No. Um, well, Mike Zimmer said that Cam Dantzler has to play special teams. Um, does that mean that he has to be like better at it, or does it mean he has to be willing? Like, I, I guess, um, what, what does that mean when he says he has to play special? Teams? No, I think it's it's not necessarily just Cam. I mean, it's it's everyone. I mean, we got to we're looking for consistency. Um, you know, I think he's willing to do it. Uh, we just got to make sure we get that consistency uh, on all phases. And there's certain guys that have a, a lot of value with that. But I mean, Cam's doing, you know, everything that he needs to to get prepared for it. And now we just got to see him uh, just kind of just let it loose and uh, uh, carry it over and in the games. In the first opportunity for Jordan and, and Greg and, and Andrew DePaulo to work together, how did you feel the operation was uh, on kicks and punts the you first know, time out? Yeah, I mean, I, I was pleased uh, with, with that. Uh, obviously, we got to continue to improve and build on some, you know, the good things that we did. Uh, um, you know, that's why, I mean, they got a lot of work last week, you know, just developing that rapport with one another. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was excited about it. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to the moving forward with them. Um, you know, last week was good, but we got to build on some of the things and become more consistent. But as a group, to answer your question, I thought they did some good things, and I was happy about that. Mike Zimmer said he wants more hang time from Jordan. Just how do you work on that, and how does that Kind of on the field on I mean, a lot of it is, is the technique that we, we talk about, and we, we've been coaching it, and we've been uh, repping it a lot, and he understands that, and he understands the nuances that and the things that we need to correct. And, uh, you know, it's mainly he has that ability to go ahead and do that, but it's it's getting that, con that consistently. You know, he did obviously show that in the game later in the game when we were able to flip the field, but we just got to do it on a consistent manner, and that's uh, that goes for all players that we have. So when he shows the ability to kick punts at 60 yards and flip the field like that, do you do you have to sacrifice a little hang time in that case if you want that result? No, I mean, I, I, I talk about a good ratio between hang and distance. You know, I mean, if you want to just start at a baseline without getting too much about it, but uh, a 45, 4 5 hang, you know, that's baseline. And then as you incrementally go up, like, if it's a 50 yarder, you like your hang time to be around 5 0. I know that's a great punt, but ultimately we want to net what we punt, limiting those returners, those dynamic returners, such as we play this week, the opportunity to return the balls. Uh, but uh, anything, you know, when we net over, you know, 40 yards, that's a good thing, but we want to try and net what we punt. So that's a high hang time punts that uh, have good uh, distances, you know, around 48 yards, and, and then we can go ahead and get a fair catch. That timeout that Cincinnati called before Joseph's 53 yarder, what's going through your head? Like, did you think that they got it off in time? Uh, you know, it was tough to hear the whistle because it was pretty loud there. But, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the guys, you know, the way he was able to regroup and everything. But, yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, I saw he had a great kick on that first one, and I was fired up for him and our team. Um, but then for him to come back and uh, just regroup and kind of decompose himself and or decompress a little bit and <laughs> just be like, all right, you know, kind of breathe a little bit. And then he comes back in there and, uh, and drills it again was, was encouraging. It was great to see him do that and to build that confidence moving forward. How difficult is that, like, on a 53-yarder, too, like, to kick? Did, did the first one go in from your perspective? Yes, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's difficult. I mean, you you talk about fifty yard kicks. You don't have a lot of them in, in the course of a season. I mean, sometimes it may upwards around ten. And if you're 50, 60 percent on those plus fifty kicks, you're having a good season with it. As long as you're making all your other kicks inside of fifty. So, uh, you know, it's it's very important. And it's a it's a high challenging kick. But that's why he's here because he has that ability to go ahead and connect on those and help our team um, put points on the board. In your experience, when teams ice kickers like that, I guess some guys probably react to it and, and get nervous, and some guys say, I get a little more time to, to get a practice kick in. What's been your experience in terms of how kickers that you've worked with uh, react to when they're iced? You, you know, I think it depends on each uh, individual kicker. Uh, some guys, they like to get that little practice one, um, you know, and see the ball flight, and I think that's most kickers. Um, but the biggest thing is him just being able to come back, all right, you know, I got to regroup, I got to go ahead and 
uh, make sure I clear my mind again and get uh, recalculating uh, ready for the next one because that, that one doesn't matter anymore. But the biggest thing, the biggest fear you have is if they do miss and they try to overcorrect it and uh, you know and miss hit it another way. But uh, you know I, that's why I'm really I was proud of him and he did a great job and not only just him, just the whole operation, the protection. You can't. Uh, you know, forget about the protection that the offensive line was doing and everyone on the field goal and then the operation with, with uh, the snapper and the holder. I mean, it all came together, so I was happy for that. What was uh, week one like for you as the first-time coordinator? <laughs> you know, a lot of emotions. I mean, it was pretty uh, jacked up. I mean, the, ha the heart was about to beat out of the chest on the opening kickoff, but it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I think uh, this staff is a, is, is a great staff, and Coach Zim has prepared us well, and uh, he does a great job and allows us to go out there and just coach and let those guys play and uh, let them play fast. And so it was exciting to see that, the first one uh, under our belt, but now we know what we got to do moving forward, and there's a lot of things we got to correct and be play more consistently, and uh, we're excited for that. we got a great group of guys on the roster, and uh, I think we can go ahead and achieve a lot as long as we go ahead and play consistent and play Minnesota Viking football. It really doesn't matter who else we're playing out there. It's just it's about us and uh, making sure we just play our type of football. You like Conley got a piece of that punt? Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a, it was great to see him uh, get free on that. But um, you know, we'd like to go ahead and see you know us make those plays when those in those situations because very rarely you're in those positions. And uh, he'll he'll do a great job on the next time. I mean, uh, either it's him or another player they're playing that, putting that position. I know they're going to go ahead and come through and help that team win. But uh, yeah, it was nice to go ahead and get a little bit of deflection of it. But at the end of the day, it still went 43 yards. And uh, you know, we got to do more in, in those situations in all situations when we take the field to help our team.